I like to call this case Ghost Trucker. Uh, we were hired by a firm um, uh, to audit a client's books and uh, to look into uh, trucking routes. And um, the client themselves had discovered a fraud. They believed they had a fraud impacted. But one of the things that we're trying to figure out was how this happened. Um, they discovered uh, payments that were being made to phony vendors. Uh, there were fictitious parties involved. And ultimately, what they discovered was there was literally a fake trucking route that was discovered. Um, and but not only was the, the route being falsified, um, but all the receipts that go with that um, were being generated. And what was amazing was that this um, had to have crossed different groups within the company. And the company themselves was trying to figure out how exposed they were. And uh, they were trying to figure out what the connection between these various departments were. Um, and one of the things that was interesting was through a series of metadata analyses, through looking at the documents, through figuring out you know, the connections between the people themselves and doing essentially a level of social re-engineering of the actual communication patterns, one of the things we found out was that the only real connection between these different departments, between the accounts payable, accounts receivable, the, you know, the receipts department, the, the different groups, was that all of the people uh, were together at the end of the day. All the people were, at, were together. They were all playing on the, the company team's basketball team. And so it was really interesting to be able to kind of see that th what we discovered was at the end of each game or at the end of you know, some of these periods, people were in the locker room. They were talking to each other and they were orchestrating this fraud um, and the company had no idea um, and it was really interesting to see that that was the connection between the people um, ultimately the company was able to you know figure out the extent of the involvement by placing all these different people at these secret meetings uh, that were occurring after the basketball games and they were able to identify literally all the different parties based on not only the uh, the activities that each person take had taken but also knowing what their connection was it was really interesting to be able to kind of prove how they were associated with each other and figuring out um, you know, where else and what other different sources could be involved and who else could be involved based on these connections.